What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix and today I'm going through the training methods and activities that work best on OSRS Mobile. The mobile version was officially released on the 30th of November in 2018, so it's been almost two years since then. With that, Jagex has released a huge range of updates that make playing on mobile less complicated and more playable. A month before mobile's release, Jagex added buttons for quantities at banks. Two months later, they added spell book filters to make it easier for you to press on whichever spell you want to be using. A few months later, they started revamping interfaces by removing a lot of the right-click options, particularly with skills like crafting and herb lore, and also with the new smithing interfaces. Before I go further into the methods, today's video is proudly sponsored by Oprah GX. Oprah GX is the first web browser that is solely created for gamers. Traditional web browsers can consume huge amounts of computer power. With GX Control, you can limit the amount of bandwidth, RAM, and CPU that the browser is using to ensure that your gaming performance isn't affected. In GX Control, there's also a Hot Tabs Killer that breaks down each tab and lets you know which ones are using the most CPU and RAM. In the GX Corner, you can stay up to date with game releases on every console with the release calendar. You can find new free games as well as breaking news in the gaming industry. On the left hand side, there's a variety of social media integrations. You can log into your Twitch account and easily access the platform with notifications when streams start. There's a Discord app built in to allow you to voice or text chat directly from the browser. And there's a range of other platforms, including Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. The browser itself is elegantly designed. You can completely customize it with your own wallpapers and colors, although the default red neon design is beautiful in itself. There's hundreds of other extensions you can install, like a free VPN, free ad blocker, and pop-out YouTube videos, all available on the extension store. Oprah GX is completely free to download, so use the link down in the description to get started and reap the benefits. If you're currently watching this on mobile, you can use the link below to enter your email, where you'll be sent an email with a download link to install it later when you're on your PC. Thanks to Oprah GX for sponsoring this video. The recent Mahogany Homes update is a great example of a method that was created with mobile in mind. All of the construction actions for the minigame are left click, so they only require one tap to remove and construct. With traditional construction training, leveling up on mobile is beyond difficult because you constantly need to be right clicking and tapping with precision to get good XP rates. Despite being a lot slower, Mahogany Homes has made construction a skill far easier to train on mobile and caters directly to the mobile only players. Every single action is left click with removing, repairing, teleporting and talking to agents. My favorite method is 20 minute combat AFKing. If you turn on background activity on your phone for the old school app, you can minimize the game or even lock your phone and in the background, you'll continue training your combat for 20 minutes where you'll eventually log out. There's a wide range of AFK training methods, but the only methods that you can stay for 20 minutes at a time are the Nightmare Zone and the Bandits in the desert. Bandits are a fair bit better though, since every time you enter the Nightmare Zone, you need to pay. So if you AFK for too long and you log out, you'll need to restart the dream and pay again. At Bandits, you can simply log back in and with a Saradomen or Zamorok item, you'll continuously train there for 20 minutes. If you have a high defense level, you can easily get away with defensive gear and some noted food, which you can unnote in the general store tent. If you have a mediocre defense level, but at least 70, you can use Guthans and you'll never ever die here. The same concept of minimizing or hibernating your phone can be done at any aggressive monster. And doing this at Sand Crabs or Ammonite Crabs is a great way to train your pure account on the go. This same concept also works with Splashing, where you need to have at least a negative 65 magic attack bonus, then all of the casts you do with magic will not hit 
but you still get the casting experience. Splashing though isn't the greatest use of your time and money. If you splashed with Fire Strike all the way through to level 99, it will take 950 hours. If you splash with the best possible fire spells you can as you unlock them, including Fire Surge, it will take 250 hours, but at a cost of 110 mil. The best monsters to splash on are level 1 monsters, like chickens or rats, because you'll never die. You can no longer splash in the Lumbridge region, so the best places to splash are the chickens in pens, like at Port Sarum, Ardoyan, or on Kurand. If you have at least level 87 Slayer and get a Kraken Slayer task, you can access a far better splashing method. When Kraken is still underwater, you can attack him with your best magic gear on, and your magical spells will hit normally, giving hit points and magic XP, but no damage is given to Kraken. This is faster and cheaper by a mile when compared to regular splashing, but the high level Slayer requirement is a bit of a hurdle for low leveled players. Periodic methods are fantastic for mobile as well, when you're on the go or you're at work. A great example is birdhouse runs, where every 50 minutes or so, you can spend a few minutes and get a big chunk of hunter experience and a bit of profit. You can set a timer on your phone for every 50 minutes, or there's also the RS Timers app available on iOS that I spoke about before, and that has a range of old school timers, and you get a notification when you can do the next action. Farm runs are another great example of a periodic method, but they do require a fair bit more organization and memory. Every morning, you can do a tree run when you're on the way to work or doing your morning routine. You can also couple the birdhouse runs with a herb run to make a consistent amount of profit and gain a bit of farming XP on the side. Before you get into farm runs on mobile, it's a great idea to create a bank tab with all of the required items so that each day you don't need to be searching your bank for everything. It's also a great idea to create a note page on your phone with all of the patch locations and the order that you want to do them in. To make things easier, I have a complete tree running article that explains an entire tree run in full. So if you want to bookmark that on your phone instead of write out a notes page, there's a link to that down below. Another method that works a lot better on mobile compared to the PC version is making darts or bolts with fletching. Making darts is the fastest way to get a 99 skill out of all of the skills in the game, and bolts are a little bit slower, but usually a bit more cost effective depending on which one you choose. With a touchscreen, you can get XP rates higher than what's capable on PC. So if you're planning on getting 99 fletching with one of these methods, it's a good idea to switch over to mobile when you're doing that. AFK skills are another great use of old school mobile. Skills like woodcutting or fishing can be done while you're on the go. And with the tap to drop functionality on mobile, there's barely any attention needed to continue training. With the banking update where you can withdraw a specific quantity with a single tap, a range of bank standing skills are great to do on mobile as well. An example is cutting logs into bows. Only a few taps are needed for each inventory. And then when you're fletching them, there's a solid minute of AFK time where you can be doing something else. Herb lore, crafting, or cooking are other skills that this works great with, and also smithing at an anvil is still quite simple to do on mobile. Cooking received an update a few years ago where rangers now have a left click option to cook on them. This makes tapping on mobile a little easier, and you don't need to be as accurate with selecting your food onto the range. Also, a range of magic spells were updated to become automated. This includes spells like creating planks with plank make and enchanting jewelry. They've all become considerably more AFK, and there's also string jewelry which has always been automated but works great with the withdraw and deposit all buttons on the mobile banking interface. Finally, the last skill I'm going to talk about is thieving, and if you're thieving the arty knight on a world where someone is splashing, it's a really low effort and simple way to use mobile. You can constantly be tapping on the same place with one hand, and then with the other hand you can be doing something else, like using your computer to do work or for entertainment. 
Anyways guys, that's all of the best mobile training methods for old school. If you have any other ideas that I've missed, leave a comment down below so that other players can hear about them. Don't forget to install Oprah GX to improve your computer's performance while gaming. The link is down in the description. Be sure to drop a like on today's video if you learned something interesting, and as always, thanks for watching and stay safe.